So I'm I just got off of work like a couple hours ago and I'm at home and I'm finally watching that um, Fed Up documentary on Netflix. If you haven't watched it yet, I would highly suggest that you do because it's um, very informative and it covers a lot of stuff that I wish I could explain to you all right now. Um, but I, I'm getting really upset. <laughs> like, I've already cried twice while watching it and I'm only like 40 minutes in. And it just, it makes me really upset and really sad that um, these companies that provide our food for us have manipulated what food is and have confused everybody about what's good for them. You know, like people don't even know what to do. It's so confusing and it's no wonder, like, we have an issue with obesity. Like, no fucking wonder because it is so confusing. And it's just, it's so upsetting and it breaks my heart that it's showing these kids, um, these obese kids in this documentary and, like, what they're eating in a day and what they think is healthy and, like, it just... <laughs> It breaks my heart because these kids should not be obese, and I wish they, it just seems like their parents don't even really understand or know how to feed their kids, and it breaks my heart because it's like, <sighs> everything has sugar in it. Everything has sugar in it. Everything has toxic artificial ingredients in it. Um, everything has been manipulated to look like it's healthy when it's not. Um, you know, things say, like, um, low fat or uh, no sugar or a certain percentage of less fat or less calories and it's like but and people buy this stuff and they think that that oh it's like only 60 calories this is good for me but it's like no it's really not it's full of sugar and artificial crap and poison and you're just it's disease producing <laughs> um and it's it's not okay, and it makes me, it makes me really upset, <laughs> because I had to take a, an entire class on food, on our food system, just to understand it, and even still, I, like, have to kind of, like, really think about what I'm buying, like, when I, I just made a rule now to pretty much just not buy prepackaged food, and that just seems to just cover all bases, just try to make my own food, just buy the basic ingredients, the fruit vegetables and, you know, and make it myself, um, and that has been the best way I have found to do it, and that doesn't mean you have to cook a lot, like, I don't really like to cook, like, sometimes I do, but most of the time I just kind of want to, like, get it over with, and so I've been on the search for things that I can make that taste good and that are quick to make, and there are many solutions to that, there you can do meal prep, which I know some people think is stupid and don't want to do it, but I mean, it's completely worth it if you take an hour out of your one night a week and prep some, or even two nights a week, just prep for a few days, um, then you have something quick and easy that you can grab out of the fridge and take with you or just heat up really quick. And, um, and I mean, heat up as in like in the st on the stove or in the oven, because when you put it in the microwave, it zaps out all the nutrients, and this is exactly what I'm talking about, about how this has become so complicated that people, like, it's like, it's become difficult and hard to eat healthy because, like, you don't realize that what you're doing is bad for you, you don't realize that the microwave is zapping all the nutrients out of your food, you don't realize that all that shit that's listed on the back of your product, or your food product, or whatever, is all just poison and crap. You don't, like, you don't, if you don't know what you're eating, you shouldn't eat it. And I just throw that out there right now. And that doesn't mean that every single long word is poison, because there's, there's long words, that's the name of fruit. 
and veggies and things that you get from fruits and veggies. So like even Shakeology has like long words on the back that if you look them up, you will see that they're just berries and roots and like things like that, you know? Um, so I don't know, I'm blabbing, but um, I mean, I can help you guys with this. Um, I know that, like I don't even know how to even talk about this issue because I feel like I'm, yes, I'm selling you a product um, yes, I'm backing a product, but, um, that's not what this is all about, you know, and I don't want this to become like that, where it's just like, I'm just another person just selling you something, because that's like the main issue with, with what's going on right now, is that everyone's trying to sell something, and so they have to twist it and manipulate it to make it look better than it is, and, my main goal, whether you want to buy these programs, maybe these programs aren't going to work for everybody. I do believe that everyone should be on Shakeology. I really, truly believe that because that shit is like liquid gold and it has so many good things in it for you. But, you know, maybe not everyone wants to be an at-home workout program, and that's okay. But my main concern is um, just spreading information and knowledge and sharing information so that we can, you know, have better tasting food good for us, um, sharing recipes, sharing ideas, like, I just want people to be able to learn about what's good for them and what's not good for them, and I just, I really want to spread information about how to take care of your body, because I feel like it's become so confusing, and um, I just hope you guys know that this is, like, for real. I mean, I'm never going to say something. I don't fully believe or think is true, uh, that is my promise, that is, that is my, my word, you know, I don't believe in doing that, I'm not going to pester people to buy things, I'm not going to be that person, because that's not what this is about, I have a tool that I can use to help people lose weight, to help people get healthy, but my main concern is that you get up and get out and do something, and, and I will help you do that in whatever way um, it doesn't have to be an at-home workout program. If you guys want to message me, um, ask me a question, or whatever, like, that's why I'm here. Um, and I hope that, that it's coming off that way. And I, I know I'm like, I'm like Eeyore <laughs> with the way that I'm talking right now, because I'm so sad. I'm really sad that there is that there are so many people out there that are obese, that are struggling with it, that are carrying around this weight, because I know what it feels like to carry around that weight. It's just so heavy, and it's so uncomfortable, and you don't like the way you look in the mirror, and it makes you want to hide, it makes you not want to dress up, it makes you not really want to do anything, and I just, if you think of all the people that are sick, they're sick out there because of the food industry, that breaks my heart. All the people that are sick because they don't know, because they don't understand what is real food and what is not real food, real food, and, and how it's affecting your body, they're not, they don't know, and if you don't know, you can't make a better decision, you know, um, so, yeah, I just, I don't know, I'm upset, <laughs> but I think I'm just going to keep watching this documentary, and, um, try and soak up as much information as I can out of it, so that I can help more people, <laughs> um, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, set up, it's on Netflix, Watch it.